Welcome back to another week of Wolf About Wednesday. Today is a great day because you know what? We got three teams competing out here. The opening series is the Flacco Fan Club and the Glizzy Gladiator. Shout out to my Glizzy Gladiators out there. And shout out to Pumpy's dad for the hot dogs. That was a, a great time. And um, we have a new person here. Noah Campo going to be batting. He's the rookie. And let's look at the pitching matchups right here. We got Anthony Padilla, 5-1, solid record. Jake Rellas, 4-2, another solid record. But let's look at the specifics. We got AP with the 1.60 ERA, but Jake has the lower ERA at 1.42. His stats seem to be a little bit better, has fewer home runs allowed, and this is going to be a very great matchup. They're not the most dominant as Julian Tarzan is the most dominant, but these are by far second and third and um, Cy Young contenders. So let's see how this game's going to go. Great pitching, great hitting. Going to be a great matchup. To lead off the game, we got Jacob Powell betting a good 264 with Anthony Padilla following him 186 and the rookie Noah Camp, but they're still waiting on some teammates. They'll be here later on in later games of the series. We got Jacob with a 3-2 count, full count to lead off the game and that is a walk for Jacob Pumpy. Padilla comes in with a 1-0 count. Decent contact to the right side, but that is a ground out. And Jake out there getting pumped off of that weak contact. <laughs> Isaiah, the umpire out there calling out. We got Kappa, 3-2 count. And he walks in his first Wiffle Ball Wednesday at bat. And that would lead Jacob up to bat. 3-2 count again. And it's lined up the middle. And that is caught by Ethan Francis. Look at that celebration. That boy is silly, but I love him. We got the Glizzy Gladiators up. We got Jake Rellas leading off. 360 batting average. And we got two debuts. Jacob Rodriguez and Ethan Francis. Jacob Rodriguez has power. IRL. See if we can translate here. And then see Jake takes the 3-2 ball for a walk. Chanch. 2-2 count. And that is weak contact to the pitcher. That'll be one out in the inning. One at first. Ethan. 3-0 count. He's hacking, and that is by the right fielder, and that is a single for Ethan on the EFIS with the Ronaldo celebration. Let's look at it one more time. It's a little EFIS pitch, gets on top of it. He's able to make it work. Got Jake, 2-2 count. And that is a drop ball, and that will retire Jake on that drop ball. Let's look at the sequence. Let's look at that drop ball. Right there, and Jake just watches it go by. We got second inning, Anthony Padilla, 3-2 count. And that is a walk he holds. Campa, see if he gets first hit, 3-2 count. That is a walk, pitch inside. We got Jacob up to bat now. 1-2 count, and he strikes out looking at the fastball. Jacobs and frustration right there. Let's see if they show the replay on the sequence. Okay, slider, riser, and then gets him with that fastball, I believe, and that will lead to APs at bat. 32 count, and that is a walk. Campos, see if he can do some damage with bases loaded in his debut. Still looking for his first hit. 32 count, and he strikes out swinging. That would have been an RBI for him if he walked, but he chases. Look at the replay. That's the second. No, that's the third strike on that sliding cutter type pitch. And that will lead to a change. 3-2 count. And that is rope to the left side. And I believe that is off the wall. And that will be a double for change. That was roped. Check the velo on that one. Let's look at the replay. He came around that ball. Almost gone, but not doesn't have the height for it. We got Ethan. 3-2 count. That is a walk. Runners at first and second. Got Jake. And that is rope to the left side off the wall. And that is another double. And that will be a single for the Glizzy Gladiators. Look at the replay. Similar to Chanch's swing. Pulls it to the left field. And that is off the wall. Chanch. So we can do. And that is a strikeout for Chanch. Let's look at the replay right there. Two swing and a miss right there. And another swing and a miss to end the at bat. And that's a striker for AP. Next, we got Ethan. And that is a strikeout as he falls down to the floor in frustration. That was a 3 2 count. 
not swinging at the best selection, but still battles. And then I bat. And ends like that on the floor. We got third inning, last hopes for JP, and that is a strikeout. Tossing it around right there, and Jacob goes down swinging his second strikeout of the day, I believe. Three swings and swings and misses. Padilla, last hope, one two count. And he strikes out looking, he tries to hold back, but that falls in there anyway. And the Glizzy Gladiators come up with the W's. Look at the sequence right there. Once again, Jake Relas picks up another dub on his record. Zero earned run is another shout um, shutout for him. And the Glizzy Gladiators end up getting this dub. You know, they have two, one vet. J oh, actually, this is a team full of newcomers, actually, and they beat a team of vets. That is surprising. Jake out there with his arm, beautiful. Jake, I mean, Jake and Chanch get some hits, get a run in. And yeah, great performance by the Glizzy Gladiators. Thank you guys for watching this week's opening series of Wolf Ball Wednesday. Stay tuned for the future games ahead in this three-team series. Peace out. Remember the home run challenge? All right, let's go. <laughs> Why can't you throw that when I was in the box? What? Oh, what the what? That's a ball. Hey, oh, hey, hey. This is a warning. I know, but like, if you were saying stuff, you would, I didn't know. Don't let me get in your head. Warning. First warning. That's a warning for both teams. <laughs> Oh, the Get off,